As the 20th century approached, tennis's popularity among African-American professionals was growing, in spite of its institutional obstacles. The racism that hindered black opportunity in most facets of American life also existed in the tennis world. Black players facing exclusion from white-dominated tennis clubs began founding their own clubs in cities across America. Tennis played a key role in the growing sense of community the clubs offered. Philadelphia's Chautauqua Tennis Club was established in 1890 and hosted the first African-American interstate tournament in 1898. In 1915, what would become the Cosmopolitan Club opened in Harlem. In 1917, the Monumental City Tennis Club hosted the first ATA championship at the Druid Hill Park in Baltimore. And in 1920, Mrs. C.O. Seams from the Chicago Prairie Tennis Club purchased property on the south side of Chicago to build four tennis courts, making it the nation's first black tennis club on privately owned land. These clubs were more than just outlets to play tennis. They laid the groundwork for community, inclusion, and access, and gave generations of players the chance to fall in love with the game. <laughs>